Chinese leader Xi Jinping retreated his pledge to achieve reunification with Taiwan on the eve of communist China's 75th birthday as Beijing flexed its military might in the run up to the national holiday. At a statement by celebrating the founding of the People's Republic on Monday, Xi Jinping used his address to underscore his resolve to achieve the complete reunification of the motherland. It is an irreversible trend, a cause of righteousness and a common aspiration of the people. No one can stop the march of history, he told the thousands in attendance at the Great Hall of the People in Beijing. According to the state-run news agency Xenua, China's ruling Communist Party claims Taiwan as its own, despite having never controlled it, and has vowed to reunify with the self-governing democracy by force if necessary. But many people on the island view themselves as distinctive Taiwanese and have no desire to be part of the Communist China. The two sides have been ruled by separate governments since 1949. After the end of the Chinese Civil War, the Communists took power in Beijing and founded the People's Republic of China on October 1, 1949. While the defeated nationalists fled to Taiwan, moving the seat of the Republic of China from the mainland to Taipei, successive Chinese leaders have vowed to one day take control of Taiwan, but since China's most assertive leader indicates has a fact of rhetoric and aggression against the democratic island, fueling tension across the street and raising concerns for a military confrontation. Taiwan is China's secret territory, blood is thicker than water, and people on both sides of the street are connected by blood, Singe told the banquet attended by more than 3,000 people, including officials, retired party leaders, and foreign dignitaries. He also called for deeper economic and cultural exchanges across Taiwan Street and promotion of spiritual harmony of competitors on both sides. We must recently oppose Taiwan independence, separatist so activities, Singe said. Beijing has liberated Taiwan's president. Lynch, a dangerous separatist, and tensions have been retouched up since Lai's innovation in May, during which he called on China's, China to seize its intimidation of Taiwan. Taiwan officials say Beijing has intensified military activities around the island in recent months, including drills in May that the Chinese military said were designed to test its ability to seize power over the island. On Sunday, Taiwan's defense ministry said it was an alert after detecting multiple waves of missile firing deep in inland China. The missiles were fired by the Chinese People's Liberation Army's rocket force in the inland regions of Inner Mongolia, Gansu, Quinai, and Sena. The ministry said in a statement, adding that Taiwan's air defense forces have maintained a high level of vigilance and strengthening their alert. It comes just days after China fired a, an intercontinental ballistic missile into the Pacific Ocean for the first time in 44 years in a rare public test that analysts said was meant to send a message to the United States and its allies amid heightened regional tensions. The issue of Taiwan has become a major point of contention between China and the U.S., which maintains close and informal relations with Ta Tapia and is bound by law to support the islands with weapons to defend itself. On Sunday, U.S. President Joe Biden approved additional $567 million in military support for Taiwan and the largest aid package America has granted the island. The funding will cover defense articles as well as military education and training, the White House said in a statement. So everybody that understands politics knows that someday China will come for Taiwan, just like the way Russia has gone for Ukraine. It's just a matter of time. Yes, so I just hope that this is not going to be one of the wars that will start in 2025. It is only time we tell.